three, testing one, two, three. Good afternoon, I'm Jeff Higgins from Higgins Storm Chasing. All right, in this video, we're going to focus wholly and solely on the extreme risk uh, severe thunderstorm setup for southeast Queensland, central Queensland and northeast New South Wales for this Friday, a couple of days time. All right, um, these maps are presented on the Higgins Storm Chasing Premium Membership. So if you head over to higginsstormchasing.com and click on Premium Membership, you can become a member to get gain access to these high resolution forecast maps. So let's move on and have a look at the setup. I'll race through this with you from today so you have a better picture and understanding of what is happening. This is today at 4 p.m. and these are surface wind streams, wind levels. You can see here that there is uh, very moist east to southeasterly air mass coming in along coastal parts of Queensland and southeast Queensland, northeast New South Wales. These are feeding into a trough through inland regions which are generating um, showers and severe thunderstorm activities. Some good rain down here around Walgut this morning which is continuing. As we progress on to tomorrow, the surface trough here marked where you can see the winds coming from the west there starts to move towards the east so it'll be located through northwest slopes and plains of New South Wales, Darling Downs of, uh, and Granite Belt there in Queensland and extending up into central Queensland districts. You can see the northerlies are starting to kick in. They're also very, very moist, feeding into this trough. And where you get the two winds collide together, that's where we, we, we have a trough and thunderstorm activity. Righto, so let's focus on Friday. Let's have a look at Friday. You can see that the wind streams are pushing through from the northwest pushing this trough from, say, Emerald down here into southeast Queensland districts and wrapping back there onto northeast New South Wales somewhat. Um, again, we've got quite strong, moist, warm northerlies ahead of the main trough system, which we're then crossing over southern inland Queensland parts. So it's going to be dry out here, but, but certainly anywhere anywhere east of this trough line here from Emerald to Rome, Dolby, Toowoomba, um, down in northeast New South Wales is, is very warm and moist. If we go on and have a look at the instability levels, um, this is across the state of Queensland and this is for today via BSCH. You can see the blue shaded areas indicate instability. The higher the neg numbers, the higher instability there is. So minus four is about moderate instability here. You can see that extending down in northwest New South Wales where we have some thunderstorms current there. And it also extends right up through central Queensland and into northern Queensland where we do expect more showers and thunderstorms to develop this afternoon. Uh, there's moist easterly winds coming on to onshore areas here down the east coast, but mainly they, due to the lack of instability, yes, it's very hot and humid, but we need a trigger to fire them. So these will be most likely showers through here. If we move on to Thursday and have a look at the instability levels through Queensland on Thursday, you can see that that is pushing towards the east, especially from central Queensland south, also down into northern New South Wales. Here, but the focus of activity on Thursday would be through the Darling Downs. Here, you can see minus four lifted index, um, so quite quite some good instability there. Now, if we shift on to Friday and have a look at Friday's severe um, storm forecast activity and 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 extreme instability anywhere marked in purple or dark blue is extreme instability. Um, so you can see that extending into northeast New South Wales here, southeast Queensland, central and central eastern Queensland, even right up here into north Queensland as well. Um, so that's why we have these guys up here from about rocky north in a high risk and everywhere from rocky south roughly in an extreme risk here due to the the incredible moisture feed that's coming in. Um, there's a lot of hot air as well. Mixing generates a lot of lift. That's what these numbers here are. And away you go with, with severe thunderstorms. Um, if we progress on to and have a look at the, um, the OCF model. Now what this is, is a combination of many models. Forecasting rainfall. That's any rainfall and that's a number of computer models. So this is Wednesday. You can see that the computer models are very, very keen for some form of rainfall over all of southern and southeast Queensland, northern New South Wales here today. I'm just using this one as an example, 100%. So that means all models are forecasting a form of precipitation. We also use the this as a guide for severe thunderstorm forecast to give us an idea. So we don't just choose one model. We, we have a look at the total model spread and it, it gives us for a more um, confident forecast to say that well, precipitation is going to occur. 
and when you combine those um, when you combine those instability levels you can pretty much lock in severe thunderstorm activity that's for Thursday again Thursday most of the activity is going to be inland obviously it pushes through a little bit of overnight rain towards the coast or some showers coming in vice versa but most of the severe thunderstorm activity will in be inland on Thursday as for Friday you can also see that that uh, all of the models are going for 100% of precipitation across northeast New South Wales, southeast Queensland, southern inland Queensland and central Queensland. So that leads us to very high confidence in the storm forecast. If we have a look over here now on the Bureau of Meteorology for the next four day rainfall total, uh, you can see that these totals will start to mount up over the next few days. We do have the possibility that on Saturday this system stalls right along the coast here, but we'll get onto that. Friday's being our main day. You can see their good falls up to 50, possibly 100 mil, no doubt under these severe thunderstorms and possible supercells. Also extending down here, we have some heavy rain for northeast parts of Tasmania, but that's out of our spectrum at the moment. We do have forecasts for that on our premium membership website. So again, the warning's out, the forecast warning is out. Um, an extreme risk for supercells, damaging to destructive winds, large hull to eight centimetres, possible heavy rain, flash flooding and frequent lightning on Friday for southeast Queensland and central Queensland districts and a high risk continuing for, for similar threats down in northeast New South Wales. And if I scroll down also here for northern Queensland districts, okay? Don't forget this is available on our premium membership site. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. There will be uh, further further um, forecast videos. Forecast, this is actually taken from the blog. It is available on the website. Um, it, it's all for free. It's also available on Facebook. I've posted it up there. Our app users have been notified of this. Um, we will continue to, do, to refine forecasts. Obviously, if these areas want to tend to shift over the next few days, further to the east, further to the west, we'll produce updated maps but as it stands now we're, we're quite confident in this forecast so stay safe guys prepare tie down your trampolines we see a number of them flying around go and get some rope some tent pegs um, tie down your trampoline secure loose items and be aware for the forecast on friday now not every single location is going to be hit all right um, but these are the potentials this is a possibility mother nature will decide on the day if it's Toowoomba or brisbane maybe both, or if Gold Coast misses out. A bit like us up here on the Sunshine Coast, we miss out. So does Maribor and other places. But look, it, it really depends on the day, and that's when it comes down to the live live updates and warnings on the day. Um, these forecasts are used to be forewarned and forearmed for this potential severe outbreak. All right, guys, cheers. Thanks very much, and stay safe.